Hey guys, this is Ace from Southern Tech Engineering. Go check out our site right here, www.southerntechengineering.tk. Alright, today we're going to fix the JP Edit error. Probably looks like this on your computer. This is what it looked like on mine earlier when I took a screenshot of it. It says Windows cannot find jpedit.msc. Alright, we're going to fix that. First thing you want to do is go into my notes in the description. You're going to find this site. I'm going to have a link to it. Alright, open it up. Go ahead and press download. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to get a zip file that looks like this. It says setup.exe. Alright, run that. I already have it installed on my computer. Alright, next thing you want to do, you want to, uh, if you have Windows 32 bit, you should already be done. You're good to go. You can type it in and run. It'll be right there for you. But if you don't, you have Windows 64 bit, you have to go the extra mile on here. Alright. You're going to want to find this folder right here in your explorer. I already have it up for us right here. Alright, once you have found that file, you're going to type in group policy in the search bar right here. Type it in. You're going to copy group policy and group policy users into your system32 folder. Alright, once you've done that, you want to go back over to group policy and you want to copy jpedit.msc. You can just copy that, put it in your search bar. It'll search for it or bring it up. Alright. Just grab it, copy it. It's just 32. Alright, to test it out and show you. Go to run. Alright, you wanna go to run, type in jpedit.msc. All right there. Press OK. And press yes on the user account control. Now you're going to want it to load up. So this is say group policy right there. That's what you're wanting right there, JP Edit. Alright, guys, this helps you a lot. Go back to our website, hit us up, leave a comment on the video, tell us what you thought about it.